Greetings, I am Chris from D6 Machina, and I am here with my lovely host... Dave from Rampant Wolf Games. <laughs> and we are here to talk about... Here, we're here to, to see if we can guess our wives or fiancés or significant others' favorite games from 5 to 1. Uh, this was something that... I was trying to find a top 5 list that other people haven't done. And I, I found... And I, this, this came to me. Nobody... I've not seen anyone who's done this list. And... I am happy to say I have a fiance, so I can. I was like, this is what I think a, a, a fictional girlfriend would like. <laughs> no, thankfully, <laughs> I do actually have a fiance and not one of those invitation ones. This is what my blow up doll would probably. I'm getting pretty lifelike these days. Exactly. Anyways. This is my Fleshlight's top five favorite games. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. So we're gonna start off with guessing what what, what we think our number five. And we, in case we don't know what our number is, so I had them these little tabs. We'll tear them off. We'll not know what our list, what the list is. Correct. Okay. Let's see. Who gets to do first. Oh, oh yes. Getting paper. You get to go first. All right. So All right. what is your top five? So the, what I think her number five is is Gloomhaven. I did not put Gloomhaven on my list. Now, the only reason I picked yeah. Gloomhaven is because we've been playing it a lot lately. And that may have been the, the error in my in my, my decision-making process. Because just because we've been playing a lot doesn't mean she liked that, likes it. And having said that, I can remember there's some nights where I've looked over the table and seen her kind of just like, oh, this is hurting. <laughs> yes, and Nicole, she likes Gloomhaven. But, but she's know. annoyed at the fact that she's not playing the tank, which we've talked so it seems like she likes Gloomhaven, but I, I, I would not put... If, if it's I, on this I, list, yeah, I, I'll be disappointed if Gloomhaven's on this list. I, I think it was an error to put it in her top five. By the way, I'm not going to tell her anything. I'm going to tell her she has to watch the video. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we are doing that. Love you, honey. If, uh, if the game appears anywhere on their top five list, we get one point. And if we get the right position in the list, which is highly unlikely... We'll three. <laughs> three points. If we're, if we're in, in, within one, I'll give it two points. I think we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll do a proper score. And if we get the list completely right, 15 points. Oh, no, you don't have to, because at that point, you've gotten three times five. You've gotten the 15 points and bragging rights. And bragging rights, because it's not going to happen. It's not. Oh. So should I reveal what her top five is? Yes, now? please. All right, for her number five is Dice Throne. Dice Throne. Dice Throne. And that's a brand new game. Nope. She's probably thinking Dice Throne Season, season 1. one. Okay. But also, having played Season 2, she may have changed this recently. And that's okay, because it's still in the same family. So it Now, is Dice right. Throne in your top 5? It is. Oh, Literally. my lord. Which number is it? <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait, hold off. Well, hold off. Don't mention that. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Denied. <laughs> it, was in, it, was, it, was. it was in the top 10. Oh, it was in the it got top eliminated. 10. Dang it. So, for me... Uh, Number five, I'm guessing, is Terraforming Mars. I'm, she loves Terraforming Mars. We've played it probably more than most other games. I am... If Terraforming Mars isn't on this list, I'll be very disappointed. All right, let's see what it is. So, my best list. And it is Feast for Odin. I'm already not on a good list. No, you're already on a good batch. <laughs> the problem is, is that she's doing exactly what I was afraid she was going to do, which is play, put the games that she loves owning... And then she loves him in theory. We've played Feast for Odin once. once. <laughs> and I know why she likes it. It's because I slipped the engagement ring in Feast for Odin. Honey, that does not come with the box Aww. usually. Just be Yes. All right. Cut to the clip. Oh, wow. Be still thy heart. What the hell? Hey. Should I take a knee? What the fuck? Wait, hold that for a second. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? And we're back. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but just saying, yes, there was engagement and there was an engagement ring in the box, but the game itself. We've only played it once. So, right off the bat, 
Not looking good. Feast for Odin number five. That, that's okay. What her original choice for it was Shadows of Brimstone. And that oh, I thought that was list. I thought that was one of those security measures. No, and, and, and that one wasn't on on my list either. Which is like, oh damn. Are so. you sure it's? Did she say it? The black is correct. Yes, black is correct because okay. she overwrote the green, which is the the rest of the list is in. Okay. So the rest of the list, yeah. So yeah, both of those were not on the. Li- wow. Not a good start. Okay, not a good start. All okay, right. so number, number four, four for you. For her, I picked Arkham Horror. Well, which version? I guess well, if you get yeah, well, yeah. if you get if you get an Arkham Horror, and she's like Arkham Horror, Arkham Horror the card game. I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and her number four was Valeria Card Kingdoms. Why have you ever heard of that one? Yeah, it's right there. And I knew that was going to be on her list, so I'm good. I will be getting a point. You'll be getting a point. I did not get the right position on this one though. Okay. So that was her number four, Valeria Card King. All right. So my number four for her is Robinson Crusoe. Ooh. And which is honest, honestly enough, it is the only, it is not the only cooperative game. She loves cooperative games, which means yeah. I'm hedging a bet that she's going to include at least one, maybe two cooperative games. That's the first thing. The second point is that I know she enjoys Robinson Crusoe more than any other cooperative game we play. That's the other two. So I'm relatively certain that she will, A, put a cooperative on there. And if she does, Robinson Crusoe is going to be on the list. Because she likes it better than Pandemic. She likes it better than any other cooperative game. But it is a slog. We don't find that. We actually really enjoy the game. Mm. All right. Number five is Terraforming Mars. (laughs) Yes, I'm only off by one. Now I'm hoping, of course, that we're going to see... Robinson Crusoe on the list. So I am only off by one, which means I get a point. I'll put my Feast for Odin right there because I screwed up and did not guess it. But I did get Terraforming Mars. I'm happy. Um, I got Terraforming Mars. I was only off by one. That's a good start. I love my fiance. Okay, so on to you with number three. So number three, I went with this one again due to the amount of plays with it. And she did pull it out on a whim because it's just quick, fast, and we like it. Yeah. Roll for it. So you did put roll for I it. I did if put roll, roll for it. If roll for it's on her list, I'll be very disappointed. Tyrants of the Underdark. Oh, I know that one. I actually played that with you. Yeah. I'm disappointed not on because I really like it and it's not on the list. Oh. It's not looking good for me right now. Um, but I understand why she put it there because it is a lot of fun. Damn. You know <laughs> what you do? What, we what do, was what, wait, wait? What did you pick for? Th- oh, you picked roll for it. Yeah, and she did tyrants on it. Okay. Well, what you realize what we have here though is the list of games we should be playing with them. This is secretly what they're trying to tell us. Yes, exactly. And the yeah. thing is, is that I know she wants to play Feast for Odin. So, so, so we can pull a game of one of these out at any point and be like, "You want to play?" And they should say yes. Yeah. Well, no. She, if I say let's play Feast for Odin, she'll be over the there. Moon. You go. All right. We just play Caverna for the second time. Which I know, I know Caverna's going to be on the list cause, because she loves Caverna. All right. Okay, so for me, it's Flashpoint Fire Rescue. I'm going two for on the co-op. Oh. Now, I'm going for it because Flashpoint and Carcassonne are both uh, games where we've been completionists. There's a point... Has a, has a, she loves Flashpoint. I would say that she likes Flashpoint more than Castle Panic, so she puts Castle Panic on this list. I need to stress, she hated doing this list. Yeah, so did mine. Now, I would say... F- I'm, like, I'm, I'm like Tom have, Vassal. I have no problem doing Top 10. Flashpoint, would have, it may have ended up on her list, mm-hmm. but we don't play it as much because it's in the big wooden box now. Yeah. And because it's also the big wooden box, she wouldn't have saw it on the shelf. Yeah. It wouldn't have been, like, in her face, yeah. so... See, Flashpoint, we mm-hmm. actually have a whole mm-hmm. bunch of the boxes, a whole bunch of expansions. I gave her a whole bunch of expansions yep. for Christmas last year. Oh, we have all of it. Oh, yeah, so we... Yeah, she does enjoy it. The only thing that, 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 that takes from the from the experience is uh, just the time setup. Yeah. Like, for such a small, short game, it's a half an hour to set up. Yeah, but uh, not... Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so that's me. Flashpoint for our rescue, and the winner is... Harry Potter deck-building game. God... Damn it! I had <laughs> Harry Potter. I had Harry Potter deck building. I didn't put. I I, I had it. It was number five. She loves Harry Potter, but I specifically didn't put it uh, on my list because we have played it once, and I don't think she enjoyed it. No, she likes Harry Potter deck building a lot, but she knows that I don't care for the later versions of it. The game gets too fiddly, yep. too overly complicated. 
<sighs> well, there you go. All right. All number right. two. Number two. Valeria Card Kingdoms, which she is, had as her number four. Oh, so, so you get a point for that. I get a point for that. But oh, Mystic Veil. Of course it's Mystic Veil. Is Mystic Veil? No, it's not. I don't see Mystic Veil. Oh, oh not on the list. Denied. Damn. Mystic Veil. It's a great game. If it you, is a if great game. If you put Mystic Veil on this list, we'd be very angry. We played it twice, but we've only we have not had the game had the game long enough. It is a great game. My number two, if she does not have this game on the list, I'm going to call her up and go, how dare you? Because she <laughs> has to have near and far on her list. She has to have near and far on this list. She adores that game. Number two has to be near and far or is number one. I better get a point. Otherwise, literally, I'm going to be like, I don't love you anymore. <laughs> That's a lot to come into. Near and far! Victory lap! <laughs> oh yes I'm getting married <laughs> alright oh no no, no 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 let me have this let me have this I think I'm actually getting an erection <laughs> this is so awesome alright so near and far okay so, damn, even the position. I got the position. Which is, as you know in a relationship, the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, sorry about That's that. That's number one. No, no, no. Did you do two? You did two. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. All right. Let's get to go again. Ascension. Ascension is probably my favorite deck builder. Yep. And probably yours and hopefully hers. Oh, you son of a gun. You, you knew it was on there. You knew it. You weren't even looking at me. She leaked it. She No, I know her. It had to be Ascension. If number one was an Ascension, I would have probably walked upstairs and be like, what the... It, it better be on the list somewhere. It better be on the list it somewhere. It better be on the list somewhere. So I got... That was confidence. You were just like... That was... That was... That, that was... was that bravado. Was, and that was pointing to the, to, to the, to the third base. That's right. Or, or better yet... Corner's pocket. Twitter pocket, yeah. Four I, points. I finished yeah. with four points. So I had I, I put Caverna, and I'm feeling more confident with Caverna because she put Feast for Odin on that list. Let's see what happens. Actually, no. Oh, oh actually. Son of a... Oh, she punched you! She punched me. <laughs> she says, one gloomhaven, actually not smiley face. She punked you. Yes. All right. Actually, not. I. Th I th she tells me she doesn't watch my videos. I think she's a liar now. So I'm gonna put that there. So what is it really? It's Caverna. There you go. You won. Ah, uh, it is Caverna. So that's nine you points sneaky to five. little. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. So, uh, so I, I got I got three points, six points. You got ni you got nine. I got it. It's four. No, no, no. I got one, one, two, three. Four, five. I think it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. I got eight points. Close I got, enough. I got one, two, three for Caverna. Near and four were both, uh, you know, so that's six. Terraforming Mars was one off the list, so I got two, so that's eight. And you got? I got four. And he's married with a kid. Mm -hmm. Shame. Of course. Shame. Shame. So I came out on top, and we did not... Oh, look at this. She added something else. Carcassonne was probably six. Uh, so I'm glad I swapped it out at the last second. Carcassonne was probably six. Yep. I am so happy for that. So Carcassonne, Caverna. So it's a good thing I flipped All that. Right. Carcassonne, oh, I, I, so Carcassonne would have been six. All right. So um, Brittany's top five is number five was Dice Throne. Number four was Valeria Card Kingdoms. Number three was Tyrants of the Underdark. Number two, Mystic Veil, vale, and number one, Ascension. All right, well, Nicole's top five list was uh, Feast for Odin, number four, Terraforming Mars, number three, Harry Potter, Deck Building, two, Near and Far, one, Gloomhaven, nope. It was actually Caverna, number one. It makes me wonder where Gloomhaven falls on the list, because if Carcassonne is six, then Gloomhaven is seven. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's surprising. Wow. Well, so, 
Thank you, Nicole. I am glad that we are still in a relationship. <laughs> and thank you, Britt, for as well filling out the list and bearing with us. So and and and, and breeding with him because we know that. I, for, I mean, I can see. Look at this. Look at this hunky beefcake. But Nicole, she's got no excuse why she's with me. It's the car, right? Chicks took the car. Yeah. All right, so I've been Chris. And I've been Dave. And remember, the rules are just a suggestion. Play the game how you want to play it. Or at least get the list somewhat right. I am in such a... I'm just going to send her an emoticon with a big smelly face. <laughs>